Every major faith tradition encourages feeding the poor and needy. Islam is no different. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, described feeding the poor as one of the best deeds a person can perform. In June of 2005, Muslims in the Greater Toronto Area began offering a free weekly lunch for the poor at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto. Volunteers prepare a full course sit-down meal at the mosque. Meals are also distributed to local area shelters and families in need. The program is called Hot Soup Day and it's supported by a variety of Muslim and non-Muslim volunteers and businesses. My name is uh, Clarence. I live all by myself. Uh, I'm, a, I'm uh, 74 years of age and sometimes I, I I, 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 I don't know too much about cooking. Eh? I just maybe get TV dinners or something. And I really, really appreciate uh, uh, what the people do here. And then the meal, the meals are just fantastic. The staff here, they always come and talk to me. They talk to everybody. They come along and say hi. And, and uh, that, that makes you like, feel that you're somebody. I've been coming to the mosque here about four years. I've never seen such a clean place in all my life. For, for a big mosque like this, it's spotless. They also, uh, like if I couldn't make it, they do meals on wheels too. It's really nice, it really makes my day, you know. And I, and I, feel, feel, uh, I feel quite happy about that. As one group of volunteers prepares and serves the meals, another group begins packaging them for delivery. Hundreds of meals are delivered to needy families and local shelters in Toronto's East End. Each and every Saturday of the year, about 600 meals are prepared. Organizers estimate the hot soup program has so far served over 200,000 meals for the city's poor, regardless of faith, ethnicity, gender, or language. The shelter's been around for almost 20 years. Um, we serve up to 56 youth, aged 16 to 21. We currently have around 52. Some of the reasons that our youth come to second base are family breakdowns, poverty, academic troubles, abuse in the home, mental health is a huge component amongst our population. The number of youth that are homeless at any given time in the city of Toronto is 10,000 or more. Without the Islamic Foundation and community partners like the Islamic Foundation, we would not be able to come close to feeding the demand uh, that's placed upon our kitchen and feeding our, our youth. So we rely very, very heavily on the Islamic Foundation. Every week, our cook, Mohammed, goes and he picks up uh, trays and trays of food. He brings them here and that's part of, of our menus that then we serve to the youth. It's very, very helpful. That money that we save from our food costs can now go into programming. Over a hundred regular volunteers and many occasional volunteers come together each month to make hot soup day possible. The entire effort is financed solely through community donations and contributions from local businesses. <laughs> 